what is view of the paranasal sinuses is primarily taken to study the maxillary sinus this is the like extent of the maxillary sinus that's the extent of the maxillary sinus <coughs> that is the orbit and this is the frontal sinus the frontal sinus has indentations and these are called scalloping of the 6 billion people inhabiting planet earth no two scalloping prints also called a sinus print exactly coincides in an acute sinus disease it generally manifests as a fluid level because in an acute sinus disease there's a lot of nasal congestion and nasal rhinorrhea watering which fills the sinus with an air fluid level chronic sinus disease however manifests as inflammation or enlargement or increase in thickness of the nasal sinus lining and as a consequence manifests as haziness one thing should be very clear in an acute sinus disease no surgery is permitted why because if you wait to make an opening through diploic bone infection can spread to the bone resulting in osteomyelitis and therefore the treatment is a broad spectrum antibiotic with a mucolytic primarily guaifenesin however chronic sinus disease requires a sequence of treatment and they include number 1 proof puncture wherein an opening is made into the inferior meatus through a via a tele liquid stroker and cannula and a sample obtained in order to study the bacterial flora and the requisite culture next antral lavage in order to flush out the content of the antrum if the patient continues to have disease a small window is created in the inferior meatus and that is called an intranasal antrostomy we felt earlier that the antrum could drain via gravity and if this did not resolve then finally the contents are cleared by a radical surgery called calvel luck today of course we can make an opening in the middle meatus and revert the sinus back to its normal functioning state because it reverts back to the normal functioning state and because this procedure is done using a sinus endoscope it is called a functional endoscopic sinus surgery a term coined by david kennedy also called f e s s or fess we must be very clear about the distinctions acute sinus disease is less than 4 weeks subacute is 4 to 8 weeks and chronic sinus disease is of more than 8 week duration